Well, how's everybody doing today? How about a stall bedding video? This is the sand truck that I ended up putting a new bed on. Um, last week, it is Monday, September 30th, and uh, Monday's our day to bed stalls. Uh, our guy's just getting loaded up here, and then we'll go over and we'll watch him bed some stalls. He's loading it with a 544J payloader, and then this, this is our commodity shed here. And we have two bays reserved for our bedding sand. Alright, he's loaded up. He's going to head on over and uh, we'll watch him put some sand in the stalls. All right, there's the two bays that we um, store the sand in at the commodity shed. Now, while we were working on the sand truck, we were using our trailer spreader to put sand in with it. It's hooked to the 4320 here. And we've had this for several years, and we pull it out of storage every once in a while um, and use it while the sand truck is getting worked on or whatever. So this holds about two-thirds as much as the sand truck itself made by the same company everything's all the same on it basically hydraulic valve body is right there that's what runs the apron chain for the bed and then uh, direction of the conveyor belt here that spits the sand out into the stalls and then this um, conveyor belt tilts as well you can raise it up or lower it uh, whatever when you're going into the stalls you put it on a little bit of an incline and it'll spit it um, It'll spit it quite far. So uh, that's what we used while the sand truck was down. We used that for about six weeks. And um, we've got to get it washed up and get it put away. So we'll run over now. So we'll run over now and we'll watch him put some sand in. He is pulled into uh, barn eight right now. This group is uh, into the parlor. And he's just started uh, his belt up. Now the conveyor's running. in barn eight right now when we fed the cows we usually bed them when we pull the groups into the parlor so that we don't have to disrupt the cow traffic at all when we pull the cows up and put them into the parlor the sections are empty where he has to bed so he's able to get in and out of the freestyle without disrupting anything so right now he's got about half the 
blown off. It's been pretty long here. What these are here is the alley scrapers and they run continuously and he had to shut them off so that you could get in over the top of them. They are V-shaped. Uh, they actually close up when they return the other way. So they clean the barn continuously. They just go in one direction until they get to the end and they turn around and go the other direction. The slot that the manure goes into is just up here. He's just crossed over the top and he is just backed over the top of another slut. So this slut is on the return and that is closed back up when that gets down to the other end. Just past about where that other one is. It will open back up again when it goes this way. Drops the manure down in through the slot. So now he is backing up. And he's going to finish out this section here. He's got just about enough sand on to do this whole side here. Those cows haven't been milked yet. They're, they'll be going up into the parlor next. Cows, uh, there's three groups on this side of the barn. There's that group way down the end. They've already been into the parlor. Now this this middle group has gone in. We take that whole group into the parlor, let them return on the feed alley side. Then this third group here, we bring up through um, the stall section on that middle section. And then when everybody returns, these these two groups are actually together. But when they return, they'll end up returning back into uh, the feed alley here. So he's just about done um, with this one section. He will be just about empty when he gets down to the curb where the water, there's a water on the other side of that cement wall there. He's backed over another alley scraper sled. Just about empty. He's got it pretty well figured out. He's right down to his last stall, and the sand truck itself is empty. All right, he's just gonna let that clean out, and then we leave the stalls just like that. The cows will end up pulling some of this sand back into the curb there. So he's going to go back and load up another load. Get right at here. There's that. Gotta get ahead of that girl. She wants to run out. 
All right, as long as we're up here in this bar, we might as well show you these alley scraper units. We've got five of these. We've got two in this barn. This one does this side of the barn, and that one over there does that side. And what I'm actually standing in is the addition part of the barn. The um, shell is all done, but we've got to do the interior work yet. Uh, they've got to come and pour um, concrete. They've got the floor all done. It's all level to the point that they just got to put the curbs in for the feed alley and for the stall beds. So there'll be a row of stalls down that far perimeter wall there and then there'll be head-to-head -head stalls here where these center posts are and then where I'm standing now is the area where they're going to eat from and then we'll have the feed alley will be where my truck is sitting. This is going to continue uh, right on down through here down to the other end there. So um, So that's going to about do it for this uh, video for bedding. Um, I know a few people wanted to see that getting done. So that's going to do it, folks. So I want to thank you for watching, and we will catch you at the next video.